he carries us every night. He came to like, yo, I need your help. And that just put a lot of confidence in me. You know? like, he believes me. Chris Paul believes me. I know I, I believe myself. Why not? Like, why not me? You know? So I just played hard again. And um, you're going to make a miss shots. You know, it's not every game you're going to go six or seven, seven for eight, whatever. You're going to make the shots. But if you play hard, you know, my dad said for the game, he said, if you're not making, you know, making shots, what else are you going to do for us? You know what I mean? So that's my mindset. I'm going to play hard. Even if I'm not making shots, I'm still going to help my team. So um, I'm going to keep looking to score, keep making plays my teammates, and just playing hard and trying to help my team. Austin, talk about as far as your performance tonight. You've taken a leap in your performance. How do you maintain that? And did you sense you would have a breakout game such um, as you did tonight in the no, win? I, my whole focus for the game is um, we needed to win. That, that was my focus. I, 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 didn't, I, I honestly, I really wasn't thinking like, man, I gotta have a big game myself. I was just thinking like, we gotta win this game. You know, what I mean, we gotta win this game. We gotta win this game. You know, what I mean, and when you just play like that, naturally your talent and your hard work would just flourish. You know, what I mean, like you put the work in and you just focus on the team aspects. Suddenly things just start happening for you. You know what I mean? And, that's kind of what my focus was. And as far as just maintaining that, you just keep playing hard. And you keep playing for the team and keep being aggressive. Um, and understand that you can't be shy of any moment. You take the shot, you make it, you miss it. That's it. About the early Christmas present your son gave you tonight. That was nice. Uh, we needed it, you know. Um, it's what we, we say, you know, somebody has to step up or not. You'd rather for your, 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 your five guys to do it. If not, someone else did. And I thought uh, baby Jamal and Austin, uh, you know, it's funny. What I told Austin, obviously his offense was good, but it was his defense that, that I thought, um, you know, to be able to put him on multiple guys, I thought was huge for us. You know, confidence gives him confidence. I think he sees now um, just how, how much pressure he can put on the team. You know, it's funny, after the game, Friday night, he and I were like the last two in the locker room. Um, and I was talking to him, I was like, man, I think you should just come downhill and go. Just use like that, use that speed and use that quickness to, to make plays. Let your offense let allow you to make plays. And um, I thought that's what, exactly what he did tonight. He, he, was, he was so good. He didn't hesitate. Um, he, he attacked, made the right plays. I mean, defensively, he's always, he's always great, especially on the ball. But offensively, he just had the right mindset tonight. Think about Austin's contribution. I thought Austin played great tonight. Both ends of the floor. He pressed the basketball, got some deflections for us, big deflections, and some big buckets. When our offense broke down, he um, you know, called for a screen, and if not, he went one on one and made some, some huge plays for us. What's it like to see somebody like this playing in the postseason for the first time have a night like that? It's good. It's great, especially you know for our team, our seven unit. Um, you know, sometimes it takes both of us a little bit to get going, but you know, he, uh, him and Jamal knew that they had to be aggressive tonight. And, uh, it, it will free up guys like Turk and Baby and, uh, and guys like that. So it was, we're, we're happy for them. We want them to be aggressive. You know, I never played on the stage where like every play matters. You know what I mean? So it's just like, but then after that five minutes passed, you know, I realized it's still 10 feet, 10 feet goals, one ball, five or five, and then change. I've worked so hard this season for practice after practice, like my teammates have. So it didn't change. And when I knew that, it just started. My teammates gave me confidence, like, man, listen, you're going to be a big part of this. You know, we need you to do this. And when they said that, they just put more confidence in myself. And then from there, I just, I just put in place. And then it just feels like I'm getting more comfortable, more comfortable. So. What goes through your mind, though? Because there's a point when you're heating up, and all of a sudden there's Tim Duncan, the Hall of Fame guy, and you just go right at him. You got to attack. You know what I mean? Um, I think as a team, Last game, they attacked us. You know what I mean? We were always on our heels, and it's tough to, to, to attack them when they when were constantly taking the ball up in that. You know, we didn't get any stops last game, so they kept scoring and scoring and scoring, and it broke our offense. Tonight, we played with much and more, you know, more energy, and when we got stops, then we got the advantage. You know, I feel like we just kind of turned the table. Tonight, we were constantly going you know, downhill, and that's something we got to take into the next game, just keep going at them. And if someone steps up, you, you pass it, and then it's their job to make the play. You know what I mean? You just got to make the right play. That's all it's about. They had an X factor in Austin Rivers. How surprised were you at his performance tonight? Yeah, he had a great game. He had a great game. He's a big one. He stepped in and, and uh, made some big shots for, for him, made some big plays for him. Um, so he, in a series like this, uh, it always comes down to someone, uh, some X factor kind of stepping up and giving you a boost, whether it be uh, uh, our shooters at one point or something like that that comes in and, and plays well.